Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on Tiger Pro. I'm going to assume you have downloaded Tiger Pro and you have installed it in your Windows system and you're seeing somewhere amongst all those icons something that looks like this. Double click on it. When you do that, this icon opens up and click on continue and the main screen will open up like so. Click on settings, click on sounds, and turn them on. Make sure play sounds are set. And, oh, none of the sounds are set. So, ingest complete, test it. Ingest complete. Elucidation complete, test it. Elucidation complete. Figure of Merit 100, test 100. it. 100, well done. Negative. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, well. Tiger's Raw. Oops. And Badger's Wolf. <coughs> Tiger's Raw. Oops. Badger's Wolf. Click on here. Go to sounds and go to oops. Test it. Oops. You can change the sounds by clicking here and using any sound file that you want. Close it. We're now ready. The first thing you need to do is clean or is so you go to tools. ingest a document. Okay, hold it. Let's take a look at the menu at the top. File. You can ingest, ingest a, a new document. You can merge a document into an existing document. Or you can click on recently used documents. You can ing elucidate a database, open new, rename, clear, or delete. So let's delete the current database. Wow, I don't want to do that. Yes, I do. Delete the database. OK, it's gone. Successfully deleted, and there is nothing there. Tools. Editor. And we'll come to these other functions later. Settings. You can set the background color. You can set the panel position on the left or on the right, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed. I like it on the left, so I'm going to put it on the left. The different reports, exports, and help file. But at the moment, first thing you need to do is only learn two things. After you've set it up, the first thing is you're going to ingest a file. So, ingest a document. You'll see it here, MCS text. And notice that as it's ingesting, you can see it run through. As it's going, ingest complete. And now you want to elucidate it. See how good it is. So you come down here and you click elucidate. We're now going through the whole document. We've got a negative figure of merit. Okay, that means there are more defects than requirements in the document. Ah, but wait a minute. There are some things in the document that Tiger Pro thought were requirements that weren't. Now, notice how the numbering system goes. 5.1, 510, 510, 1, 510 thing. These are not requirements. These are headings. So we go up here. 
and we take out that ID. If we go down to the next one, that's technical support, so we can say that's not a requirement either. That's a heading. We go down to the next one, so we can go through the requirements like this. This is a heading. We go to the next one. This is a heading. Take that out. This is a requirement. The MCS hardware and software documentation shall be at the same revision level as the hardware and the software. So the requirement here is to match. Now, Tiger Pro has recognized AND as poor words and also SAME as a poor word. But in this case, SAME is not a poor word, so we write it in here. And that enter and that tells Tiger Pro that same is a good word in this instance. And we go to the next one. All identical parts shall be at the same revision level. Okay, that's it. Same is a good word there. So we make that a good word. Now there is a problem with that requirement, but I won't discuss it at the moment. So, if you look down here, you will see that there were 255 defects. Let's elucidate it again. Well, the figure of merit came down to minus 2, so we've improved it, and there are only 248 defects now. So we get a summary. There are 246 records in the database, 242 requirements. That means there are still four that we need to look at. We ignored two poor words. That's the same that I put in there twice. And these are the two types of defects. Multiple requirements, possible multiple requirements, unverifiable words, the wrong word, a user-defined word that you can put in there and make sure that the people writing the requirements don't use it. Tiger Pro will pick that up. A possible design constraint and an incomplete sentence. And then you can go back looking through here. So we can go, for example, 5.9.9, .9, the MCS shall not be damaged by a sudden loss of power or prolonged transience. Defect type 2. Or, of the kind mentioned in paragraphs 597 and 598, so and, it picked up the or and the and. Or this one. MCSS shall not be damaged by sure duration high amplitude. Well, it picked up high as being unverifiable and short duration as being unverifiable. The other aspects of Tiger Pro allow you to add attributes to the additional attributes to the requirement. For example, you can add acceptance criteria, rationale, traceability, priority, risk, and cost estimates, and we'll cover those in different classes. You also have a Badger template, which is a template for actually creating requirements which will help you write requirements in the first place. I haven't entered IC and it picked up the error. I pushed create and it told me I hadn't entered an ID. Stop messing about. And it, when it's used in the classroom, students like to click on the dog or the tiger or anything like that, so they get that message. 
the other aspects of Tiger Pro we will mention as and when the modules show them and as and when them as and when they're required in the modules. The last thing I want to point out is that Tiger is an educational tool for showing the benefits of the systems approach to requirements engineering. So it puts in acceptance criteria and some of the other attributes so you can start doing some comparisons in the future. And I don't know of any current tools that do this and Tiger Pro was written way back in 2006. So it's got features in there that, that are ahead of its time, I'm proud to say. To exit Tiger Pro, you exit and leave it.